Hello everyone, this is Michelle, and I am going to be doing a movement practice from my living room, and I encourage you to join in if you like. Um, there's really no nothing that you need to bring with you. If you have a yoga mat, that would be great. I'm gonna be on my hands and knees, so if you'd like some extra padding, a blanket under your knees um, would be very helpful. So this is about a 37 minute practice just to bring us back into our bodies and to um, feel pleasure and joy in being alive. So we're gonna come into what is called child's pose to begin our practice, our moving meditation. You can take your knees wide. Sitting up nice and straight, we're gonna walk our hands out. You can bring your hands down. If you like, you can bring them underneath the forehead or you can extend them out. And bringing your forehead down to the ground, we're gonna rest into the earth. some deep breaths in. Let your body relax down. See if you can sink your heart and your hips a little bit closer to the earth. of our shoulders and we're going to slowly roll, rotate the spine one direction and then the other. those arms. 
arms, taking them up. Bring the hands together and exhale back down through center. We're gonna find our way onto all fours. It's really important here that you stabilize the core and that you bring your hands and knees right underneath the shoulders and the hips. If you like, you can gently pick up one knee, set it back down, pick up the other knee, set it back down. Now I can press through my whole hand and I can engage my core so that I take some of the weight off of the heel of the hand. So we're gonna shift our body weight to that right leg so the left leg can move nice and slow you can draw the knee in exploring the range of motion nice and slow towards our feet so you can bend your knees if you like walking the hands back we're gonna let our body hang forward here forward fold you can think about 
straightening the legs and shifting the body weight more towards the balls of the feet. So notice how if I do that, my legs come more vertical. Really feel into being upside down. Letting your shoulders relax. You can grab opposite elbows. Take some deep breaths in. Okay, we're gonna bend our knees, tuck our tail. You could keep your hands connected to the elbows as we come up. And then let your arms drape down the back of your body like you could bring them back up again feel that draping okay let's find our way into chair pose feet are hip width apart we're going to bring our tailbone back sitting back keeping the knees behind the toes arms could be out here they could be up here you could lift your toes for a little added extra bonus here. Breathe. Okay, when you're ready, let's take a deep breath in and bring it back up. Notice that moment you get to release the tension into your mountain pose. Feet are hip width apart. Relaxing your shoulders down. Feeling deeply rooting down through the bottoms of the feet. Okay, let's step to the front of the mat. I'm gonna come into warrior pose. We're gonna take the left foot back first. Turning that foot out, we're lining up the heel of the front foot with the instep of the back foot. Arms can come out. Positive tension, active arms. See if you can get them parallel to the earth. Now keeping the stability in the base, we're going to turn the front palm up and lift up and back. our gaze to that back foot, feeling the power of the pose, bringing it back to warrior. We're going to bring that front arm down. It lightly is pressed here and we're going to take this other arm and just dangle it. And then when you're ready, we're going to rotate it. Shoulders up, arm out. Nice long line. Gaze can be up slightly. Taking a deep breath in. Let's come back up to warrior two. We're gonna pick up that back heel and just step the back leg forward. We're gonna take a deep breath in here, sensing that left side of the body. Switching to the other leg, right leg steps back. Lining up your heel to your instep. Warrior two. Shoulders relax down. Make sure that that knee is tracking over that pinky toe side of the foot. Palm up, reach up and back. Turn your eyes to look down to the back foot. Breathe. Bring it back up. Hand comes to lightly to the thigh. Let it dangle here. And then when you're ready, let's take it up and over the head. 
knees is up, lighten the load on that front thigh. Take a deep breath in, let's come back up to center. We're gonna pick up that back heel, turn and step forward. Coming into your mountain pose. Let's take a deep breath in. And this time we're gonna forward fold, hinging at the hips. You can bend your knees if it feels okay. Coming down with a straight back. We're gonna step the right foot back first here. Left foot back, downward dog. Coming forward, plank position. Press, press, press the mat away. Gaze is down. Now we're gonna drop our knees to the ground and we're gonna come back and into child's pose. Extended arms. Now we're gonna keep our elbows uh, low, our body low, our chest low. We're going to take our elbows to the back as we slide our chest over the mat. Coming into your cobra. Relax your shoulders down. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. We're going to curl our toes. We're going to lift and then press back into your downward dog. We're going to shift our body weight. Right leg comes up. We're going to step the right knee between the hands. Now you can stay upright here if you'd like. You could bend that back leg. Turn, same arm, same foot. Little spinal twist. Okay, let's release that. Let's turn back to center. We're going to lengthen the spine as we come over. Hands could come underneath the forehead. You could gently rock side to side. If you want a deeper stretch here, you could take that front leg and bring the shin out just a little bit. If this does not feel good to you, you can always come over onto that thigh and just sit up here. This could be your pigeon. shoulders curl that back foot we're gonna step that leg back other side left leg comes up into the air we're gonna bring the knee in between the hands sitting up you could bend that back leg hand comes around breath in let's release that leg and coming over nice and long hands could come underneath the forehead could gently rock side to side remember you could always come over onto that hip Downward dog. Let's take 
the feet wide and see if you can take your hips from one side to the other. Now you can stay here or you could come into plank position and come into side plank. So left hand could send forward. We could stagger the feet, reach the arm up, dynamic arm, pull your low belly in. Bring that hand back down. You could bring the right hand center. You could always drop the leg to the ground. Breathe. A deep breath in let's bring it back to center we're gonna lower ourselves to our knees and come down and onto our belly you could bring your hands underneath you could take your feet side to side you could wiggle your toes Turn your head the other way. Okay, let's turn our head back to center. We're going to bring our hands underneath our shoulders and come back and into extended child's pose right here. Coming up, we're going to come over and onto the right side. You can bring your legs forward, coming into cobbler's pose. Soles of the feet are together. Knees come down. We're extending the spine up. If you like, you could begin to sway side to side. Sensing being grounded, rooted at the base of the spine. Vertical alignment between earth and sky. Extending 
the spine up. Feet center, 
You can bring your hands right underneath your shoulders and squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you like, you can lift, coming into your inverted table, keeping the head straight out from the spine. Breathe. slowly lower ourselves back down. We're going to come onto our back body, bringing your knees into your chest. You can gently rock side to side. shifting over to the right side. Left foot can come to the top of the thigh and roll. Spinal twist. You can extend the left arm out, keeping the shoulders rooted. Spinal twist. Take some deep breaths. Extend the other leg out, shifting our body weight over to the side. Foot can come to the thigh, rotate the other way. Take some deep breaths in and let the body release into the pose. Take a deep breath in. Let's bring it back through center. We're going to bring our knees into our chest and we're going to circle the knees. Just a little massage of the sacrum, the low back. Looking for pleasure. Finding the spiral, the center. Then noticing which way you're going, you can go the other way. back to center and into bridge pose. Feet are parallel, hands could come down by the side of the body. We're going to roll up, coming onto our shoulders, staying off the head and the neck. They can be nice and soft. We're going to squeeze, keeping the thighs parallel, feet parallel. Now see if you can relax your face. Breathing into any minor discomfort. Building strength and resilience, stimulating our bones, our muscles, our connective tissues. Starting at the top of the spine, we're going to slowly come back down. Noticing that surrender into the earth, into the silence, into the space of this moment. We're going to grab the backs of our thighs and roll up and into seated. And then finding our way onto all fours. We're going to curl our toes coming into squat. So it could be here. It could be that you come down. Your hands could press into the inner thighs. 
sitting up nice and straight. Engaging the pelvic floor. We're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna press to rise. Shifting our body weight over to the right leg, we're gonna to begin to move the left. This dynamic balance practice We're going to take that leg and cross it over the knee, hands to heart, sink the hips, find your drishti. Take a deep breath in, bring it back up. Shift to the other side. Practicing falling. You're ready, bringing that foot across. Flexing this foot seems to help with the balance, with the stability. Static balance. Okay, let's bring it back up. Shifting your body weight. We're gonna come into warrior three, step into the front of the mat. You're gonna begin to Step onto that left foot. Left foot is in front. You can always keep your hands into your heart. You can bring them back. Flex that foot. Breathe. Let's bring that foot back in. Other side, starting with the right leg forward. Finding your balance, that front foot, and when you're ready, taking flight. Hands. Can always be back behind. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Gaze can be down. Coming back, finding your way down to the ground. You could be very deliberate about it. You could be dramatic about it. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Setting up for corpse pose, you can lift your chest, place your arms back down. You could lift your pelvis, wiggle it into place, extend the legs. Palms up. Take a deep breath in and let everything relax. Notice your back body in contact with the earth. Noticing the inhalation and the exhalation. The rise and the fall of the chest and the belly. Letting your breath breathe you.
chest up and into seated position. You can cross your legs, sitting up nice and straight. You can bring your hands together. Thank yourself for taking time to do a mind-body practice that promotes healing and wellness. And thank you all for watching. Namaste.